BYD has sold three times more electric vehicles this year than it did last year, and it's now announced it is going to be selling electric vehicles in many countries worldwide in 2022. It's just added another one to that list. Hello, my friends. Welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. Fantastic to have you here on the channel that makes more videos about electric cars than anyone else. Now, welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome back to everyone else. Wonderful to see all your shining, smiling, beautiful faces. So BYD has now announced it is going to Brazil. BYD does already exist in Brazil. In fact, they're building a monorail train, electric train system there. Pretty impressive. I made a video about that, I don't know, but maybe about four or five months ago. I'll put a link in the description to that video. Now, in addition to that, BYD also sells electric buses in Brazil already. I'll put a link in the description below to my recent report on BYD's commercial vehicle sales. By the way, those commercial vehicles are all electric. Now, BYD will launch its full electric TAN SUV. I know it sounds confusing because it's actually called the Tang in China, but they're going to call it the TAN in Brazil and the Han Sedan in Brazil in 2022. Now, the seven-seater TAN, also known as the Tang in China, will be launched in February, which is amazing. I'm assuming that means it's coming to Australia in February too. Come on, BYD, bring them, hurry up, hurry up. Yeah, they did say they're bringing them to Australia as well in February and a number of other countries. They're already on sale right now in Norway, where quite a few people have already bought them. Now, the Han, which is a very popular sedan in China, is expected to hit showrooms in May. Now the TAN or the TANG has 517 horsepower, runs on an 86.4 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate blade battery, and it has 505 kilometers of NEDC range. Meanwhile, the Han has 494 horsepower. It runs on a 76.9 kilowatt hour battery, lithium iron phosphate blade battery, by the way. It, if you haven't heard of the blade battery, if you're new to the channel, you need to know about the blade battery. I'll put a link in the description below to some of the videos I've made about BYD's blade battery. It is a game changer. Now, the Han, because it's a sedan, it's a bit lighter, it's a bit lower, a bit more aerodynamic, will have a range of 550 kilometers on the NEDC cycle. Prices, apparently prices will range between 70,000 US dollars to 89,000 US dollars, depending on the model. Local automobile news portal Quattro Rodas reported. The prices seem expensive compared to what the price will be here in Australia. I suspect that might be due to local customs fees. Potentially BYD wanted to capitalize on the electric car market in Brazil on that higher end market. I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll see what happens in 2022. Now, currently there are electric vehicles being sold in Brazil. The best selling of those in 2021 were the Porsche Taycan, the Nissan Leaf, the Audi e-tron, the Mini Cooper, and the BMW i3. Brazil has approximately 73,000 electric cars on its streets right now. So more good news if you're a BYD investor, more good news if you like electric cars and you prefer not to uh, keep on burning oil, which is just not really sustainable in the long term, is it? Thanks for watching the channel. Look forward to seeing you again on the next one. Bye-bye.